Do you game on Windows 10 and do you like stability in gaming? If you answered yes to those two questions, you should be using Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. In today's video, I'll be having a look at Intelligent Standby List Cleaner on versus not having it at all. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, in today's video I'll be looking at a little program called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So before I even get started, I just want to say if you're on Windows 10, I highly recommend Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It's going to, in certain cases, it's actually going to improve your average FPS and in most cases it will improve definitely a little bit your 1% your, uh, loads. If you're on Windows 11 though, in my testing I find that Intelligent Standby List Cleaner actually gives you very little to no benefit whatsoever. So guys, basically what it does is um, it automatically clears out your standby list and you, uh, you, you've got two little categories that you can fill out here. First is normally one gig. So when the standby list is at least one gig, it will clear, uh, purge the standby list. And then if, it's, uh, if the free memory is lower than half the amount of your RAM, it's also gonna automatically clean out the standby list. And then since Windows 1799, the timer resolution of Windows has been a little bit off. So yeah, you can just force a timer resolution of 0.5, which is just gonna make your games feel a lot smoother. So just to give you a little example of, or show you what standby list is. So if you open up the task manager, you go to performance, and then you open the resource monitor. And then for you, it's gonna open up an overview. Just go to memory. And okay, I just did clear out my standby list just recently, but you can see uh, standby list is 104 megabytes, which is basically a pages that aren't being used anymore, but they're still open. So effectively, it's cached RAM. So once you purge the standby list, you'll notice here that it just clears out that cache. And the effect that it has is it just makes your games feel a lot smoother. So if you don't use intelligent standby list cleaner, you're not going to know that you're actually miss, missing performance. But if you are using intelligent standby list cleaner and for some reason it's not open, you'll definitely be able to notice a difference in your games. So guys, before I get to my results, I just want to say if you subscribe to the channel, please just make sure to like the video, comment on the video and share the video. And then just hit that notification bell, send it to all. Um, and then to those of you that aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing by the end of the video. And then on my homepage, I do have videos on how to unlock undervolting in the limit, uh, 10 gen and newer, 9 gen and older, throttle stop tutorials, MSR afterburner tutorials, and many more. Just have a look on my homepage. So guys, um, if you do want to download um, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, what I will do is I'll put this link in the description of the video. You can download it. Um, I'm actually not using the latest version. As you can see, uh, I'm using Intelligent Standby List Cleaner version 1.0.2.6. I just find that that one looks best for me. But let's get to those results. So guys, all my games are tested at medium settings. With the exception of the newer titles, I test on low. Um, with the FSOS 2 or 2.1 set to other quality. Um, I am testing on a GTX 1650 laptop. So if you got an RTX card or particularly an RTX 3060 and up, you might notice that your results are very different to mine. Um, as mentioned, uh, I, am, uh, I, I am on the latest NVIDIA driver 545.84, which is a pretty good driver. I do recommend if you're on a GTX card 537.58, but I just had to uh, use this driver because I'm making a video particularly about 545.84. Um, and then uh, if you have a look at my games, I test mainly on single player games at the moment just for accuracy, uh, accuracy, accuracy's sake. So guys, by default, obviously you're not going to have intelligent standby list cleaner. So that's the setting I'll show you first. So we're over 16 games, I add up all my average FPS, I get to a total of 1,036. And then I'll do the same thing with the 1% lows, add up all my 1% lows, I get to 730 over the 16 games and then add up all the 0.1% lows and I get to 617. And then when I have Intelligent Standby List Cleaner running, you'll notice I get a little boost. 
So over those games, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 1049 over those games. And you can see it's a not a massive jump, but there's uh, generally a, a one FPS jump in most games because I do test over 16 games and my difference is 13 FPS. And when I, I do the same thing for the 1% lows, when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total of 753. So you can see that's where the benefit of intelligence stand by this game is. That it really gives you a boost in your 1% lows, which is going to make your games feel a little bit smoother, less choppy, and just give you a nice experience. So you can see over those games, the difference in uh, using intelligent standby list cleaner and not using it is 23 FPS, which is quite a big margin, I say. So that is the, the big benefit of using intelligent standby list cleaner. And then uh, uh, when I do the same thing for the 1%, uh, the 0.1% lows, when I add up all those figures, I get to 619, which is pretty much the same as uh, when it's off. So no real change in the 0.1% lows. The biggest benefit of using intelligent standby list cleaner lies in this column over here, 1% lows. As mentioned before, there's a 23 FPS difference between having it off and having it on. So guys, this is why I highly recommend intelligent standby list cleaner. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. It's almost time for the weekend. Have a good day. It's people like you. Cheers.